Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. As we're heading into a new week, I think it could be a very decisive week. It is certainly a bullish structure we're dealing with here. For sure, it is possible that we dip back into the support region again, but the price needs to break below, well, at least one support area for that. And to make a lower low, we need to see a break of two micro support areas that we're going to talk about now. Um, Literally, we have an overall bullish structure. Yeah, we have a WXY pattern, which is corrective to the downside. And we've now seen a reaction to that main support area. The price is consolidating in a bullish way below a structural resistance level. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see upside trend continuation from here. I personally would not be shorting this market. Instead, I would use dips to buy. That's why we have the colored area on the chart because also we have an RSI breakout. Okay, so the relative strength index on the daily time frame has shown a break above a trend line recently. So that's in addition to the wedge breakout, the pattern, potentially bullish. And overall, the bull market is still set to continue. We're looking for next upside targets around 85 to 90k. How do we calculate that? Well, we're dealing here with a structure in which we can, for example, take the length of the wave one, we go to the low of the wave four, and then we're looking for the 100% extension as the next upside target at 86K. Surely 95K is the next extension possible as well, but I'd rather keep it conservative. The other way to measure is that we take the length of waves one to three, and then we go to the low of the wave four. And then we're looking for the 38.2 extension level next. It's also 86K. So that sort of 85, 86K area seems to be the next area of confluence. And that is certainly, um, yeah, an interesting move that could happen shortly and full shortly. Bear in mind, after that rally, we're likely going to see another wave four, which could be substantial. I think with this fifth wave, we might see altcoins rally. Um, maybe also when Bitcoin is in this larger degree wave four. And I did say it already yesterday, I think the next rally could spark the euphoria in the market, a lot of FOMO, and it could be the main element of many altcoin rallies in this bull run. Bull run yeah? Bear in mind, I think Bitcoin's bull run is in the late stages. When Bitcoin has completed the bull run, most altcoins will complete their patterns as well. Um, Bitcoin could get one two, maybe three more highs, maybe only two more highs, but be aware that this sideways consolidation can take a long time. This one as well. So when I'm saying it's in the late stages, I'm talking about percent increase. Bitcoin has already like done like 360% in this bull market. It's not going to do that again. I would be surprised, but hey, you know, never say never, but that's my, what I mean, you no, know, certainly in the second half of the bull run and the euphoria phase typically starts the or yeah well is starting the wrap up process of the bull run in addition to that just because i say that doesn't mean time wise i mean it could be that this way for takes place over the summer you know so it can it can certainly take until the end of next uh, end of this year but then you know timing is very very difficult i'm starting to play around a little bit with the fibonacci time zones so you might you might see me use that more and more when appropriate in the videos. Let's go to the shorter time frame wave count here. Unfortunately, no change, but consolidating in very much a bullish uh, consolidation just below this resistance area that we've been talking about already on Friday. Here, it goes all the way up to 67,650. Hasn't been broken yet. And as I said yesterday, um, it's, a, it's maybe a bit, I try to keep it as simple as possible. So that of course the price could form one more low in this um, in this larger degree wave four, which started in March, but we need a break below 63,150 first, and I will adjust that level as we climb higher, and when appropriate, I will adjust that level. So it really takes whatever happens a break below the, the first micro support area to indicate that we have a top of sorts in place. Um, then. It, however, needs to break below the next support area, which is down there at 60, so, one second, basically 58,360 to 60,880. This will be the next support area. Why is that relevant? Because 
in the white count, we need to break it to rule out the yellow count and the yellow count is bullish. In the yellow count, we could have bottomed already on the 4th of, um, not on the 4th of, on the 1st of May in wave four, however. And in this scenario, it's possible to call this a wave one and then W, X, Y, and this area needs to hold for that. And then this would be, would complete a wave two. And we can rally from there. Another interpretation would be that um, Bitcoin completed a one, two setup, and this is another one, two setup. Yeah, but that wouldn't make any change at the moment in the short term, also not to the support area. Okay, um, so uh, whatever happens, if we break above the, no, not above, but below the initial micro support area, this lower support region is really, really relevant. Before I forget, um, if you're interested to get additional content, make sure that you follow us here on X as well on Twitter. You can here join our WhatsApp channel as well for additional updates. And um, this week and probably the next few days, we're going to issue a poll here again with certain coins. Then you can vote for that and one coin will be analyzed this week specifically on Twitter or X. Uh, on the weekend, we covered uh, CKB. So um, also you'll find some updates here about Bitcoin, Ethereum and so on. There's still the CKB video if you're interested. So there will be one additional coin. You can vote for that. So feel free to check it out. And those will be coins that I don't typically cover on YouTube. So make sure that you follow just the correct account, please. Okay, back to the um, Bitcoin chart. Yeah, and I mean, I can't call that a one, two, one, two setup, but it's, it's, I don't want to make it more complicated, right? And we can always adjust that later. It doesn't matter to me at the moment if I call that a larger one, two or a one, two, one, two setup in the yellow count. Important is it is possible that on the 1st of May, an overall wave four low was put in place, but obviously we then need to hold this support area. That's the main message. And key really, it all boils down to that one statement. As long as we're holding $58,360, and that doesn't mean we have to test it, but as long as we're holding it, it is reasonable to assume that the wave four is in, okay? Um, <clears throat> I think the evidence is quite thin, however. I don't think we have the strongest evidence for that. And therefore it's worth um, tracking also still in a short-term bearish count as I did here in the white, as I'm doing actually in the white count. Um, just to keep us on our toes and know so that we know where things could go wrong and things could definitely go wrong if the price rallies from here once more, hits the 100% extension because that would be a corrective target for an ABC structure and then breaks below support. So pay attention to that this week. But overall, yesterday's update is still relevant. So I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.